In this video, I will show you two different methods to display time in the terminal using bash scripts. With the use of proper format specifiers, you can display time in hour, minute, seconds notation, also in 24 hour or 12 hour clock notation. In the later sections, I will talk about a comparative analysis between the two methods. So let's get started. In the first method, I will show you how to print time using the date command. So let us see it in details. At first, I will open the terminal. Now, I will create a script named date.sh. For this, I have to use the nano command. This will pop up the nano text editor in the terminal. Over here, I am going to edit my script. Now, from the previous videos, you can remember that you have to write the shebang line at the first of the script. So, I will do the same. After writing the shebang line, I will define a variable named today, which will store the date command, where I will use a command substitution using dollar sign and parenthesis, like this. Now I will simply write a print statement, which will display the current date along with the time. For example, echo today's date. Now to access the variable, I have to use the dollar sign. Now I will save the script using Ctrl S and exit using Ctrl X. Before executing the script, I will give the executive permission using the chmod command. Now I will execute the script to see the outputs. As you can see, it shows the current time and also the current date. Now I will show you how to display time in different formats using some specific format specifiers. I have already written the script, so let's see it in details. First I have defined a variable named time with seconds, where I have used command substitution with the date command plus a specific format specifier percentage t which will display the time in hour, minute and seconds format. It will add the seconds format. Then I have just written a print statement to show the output. Next, I have written another variable named time without seconds and added a specific format specifier which will only show the hour and minutes. Then I have written another format specifier percentage %r which will store the current time in 12 hour format showing whether it's am or pm and the output is stored in the variable time with am pm next i have used another variable current hours which will display only the hours so let's see the code in details and now i'll save the script and exit using ctrl x to see the output i will execute the script As you can see, the first output is, which I have shown before, the second output, current time with seconds, it displays the time in hour, minute and seconds format, adding the seconds part. Then the time is displayed without the seconds portion. It only displays the hour and minutes part. And then the time is displayed in, in 12 hour clock format, adding whether it's PM or AM. And lastly, it shows the hours only. Similarly, you can modify your own time using other format specifiers, which I'll discuss later. Now, talking about format specifiers, if you want to know further, you can refer to this article provided in the video description below. Here's a list of specific format specifiers and the code and the sample output. For example, I have used the percentage H in my script before, you can use them on your own and explore the outputs. In the second example, I will print time using the time date ctl command. So let's see it in details. At first, I will open the terminal and run the command time date ctl. The output is shown below. 
as you can see it gives time in different local zones to be specific the times are displayed on the right hand side actually it is displayed as the fifth argument of the output if you count from the left hand side now we need to fetch our required output which is this that is our current time to do so i have to use the awk command piped with this command now i'll run the command to see the time As you can see, I have used the time date CTL command and the pipe character with the awk command and this pattern. Now let's see what the pattern does. It looks for this title, is local time. Then after that, it looks for the fifth argument, which it will print in the terminal. Let's see the output. It prints the current time in the terminal. Now, I will demonstrate a comparative analysis between the two methods which I have shown. In my opinion, using the date command to print time in the terminal is the best option because the date command provides much more formatting options and is easier to use. Whereas, using the time date CTL command, you need to also extract the time field from the displayed output which I have shown in method 2. So that was all for today. In this video, I have showed you two methods to print time in the terminal. If you want to know further, please refer to the article provided in the video description below. Thank you for watching.